tonight on ESPN, we welcome you to Bowling Green, Ohio for midweek action. The Bowling Green Falcons taking on the Broncos of Western Michigan. Good evening, everyone, and thank you for joining us alongside Bowling Green student Garrett McKinney. I'm Brad Wozniki. The Bowling Green Falcons come into this game looking to snap a five-game losing streak, and tonight they're going to be facing one of the top defensive teams in the MAC. The Broncos only allowing 64 points a game. They held Bowling Green to 58 in the first meeting, and we know Bowling Green has to take care of the basketball tonight. Well, it's simple as that, Brad. The Falcons are going to need to take care of the basketball. Last time these two teams matched up, Western Michigan held a 26-9 advantage in terms of points off turnovers. That can't happen. And for the Falcons, balance is key. They're going to need as many players as they can to step up tonight. Last time the Falcons won a game, they had seven players who scored at least five points or more. That's team basketball. That needs to happen tonight. Now, Bowling Green has seen their fair share of talented forwards in Mid-American Conference play this season. Players like Jordan Karinic of Kent State, as well as Kayla McIntyre of Toledo. Tonight, the Falcons will face Brianna Mobley, who comes in averaging better than 15 points a game, and she was dominant in the first meeting, 13 points and 13 rebounds. Bowling Green needs to find a way to keep her off the glass. Well, Brianna Mobley's been spectacular for the Broncos this season. She's leading the team in both points and rebounds. She's vital for that offense. She's going to look to work down low in the post, draw the defense in, and kick the ball out to shooters on the perimeter. And Mobley has been in double figures in 20 of 23 games this season. Now for the Falcons, we're looking at one of their senior leaders tonight in Haley Puck. Puck has been great here at home in the last three games, averaging better than 11 points a game, shooting better than 60% from the field, and she's knocked down five threes. Well, the seniors averaging nine points a game, two rebounds. She's the second best three-point shooter on this team in terms of percentage and third on the teams in steals. If the Falcons are going to look to win tonight, she's going to have to make contributions early and often. And Haley Puck has been in double figures seven times this season. For more on the senior guard, here's Bowling Green student Adam Gaw. Thank you, Brad. Now, Haley, you're coming off the game against Miami of Ohio this past weekend. Came down to the last minute, but couldn't quite pull that one out. Uh, what was the team's takeaway from that game? Um, you know, one thing I love about this team that, you know, ups and downs, we always stay together and we always bounce back, so we're ready to, for, for tonight. And, um, you know, we worked hard in practice the last couple days, so we're ready to get this win tonight. So, As a senior leader on this team, uh, what kind of responsibilities comes with playing that role on a daily basis? Um, you know, just having four years of that experience, that's what I try to bring to the team. Um, bringing that leadership role, um, communication, passion, encouragement, that's all I try to bring. And um, just really bringing the team together and helping out the freshmen and the whole team as much as I can. Now, tonight you're playing a Western Michigan team that over the last few games has been finding some pretty good offensive consistency. So what's the plan to try to stop the Broncos offense here tonight? Um, we really want to limit the post play. Uh, they got two really good post players. Um, we got to make sure we box out and just really communicate on the defensive end. So that's our goal. Yeah, thank you for your time. All right, thank you. Back to you, Brad. Tonight it's the MAC West versus the MAC East. Western Michigan versus Bowling Green. We'll have the tip off and starting lineups when we return right here on ESPN. Welcome back inside the Stroh Center for Mid-American Conference Women's Basketball. The 10 and 12 Bowling Green Falcons taking on the 13 and 10 Western Michigan Broncos. Brad Wozniki, Garrett McKinney here with you. Let's get to tonight's starting lineups. First for the Broncos, Deja Wimby is back in the starting lineup after missing all of last game because of an illness. Then you have Jordan Walker has been outstanding for this Broncos team in just her first year. Najee Smith, Brianna Mobley, and Marley Hill. For the Bowling Green Falcons, it starts with point guard Sydney Lambert, who has started every game of her career. Carly Santoro, the team's leading scorer. You have Katerion Thompson, the sophomore from Lima, Ohio. Haley Puck and Angela Perry making her second consecutive start after making her first start of her career last time out against Miami. Bowling Green holds a 35 to 30 advantage in the all-time series. Look at the last meeting back on December 30th. Western Michigan came away with a nine point victory. The Broncos have had the success in this matchup in recent years, having won the last seven meetings. 
But you have to go back to the fourth quarter of that last meeting. Bowling Green, after three quarters of play, led by 11. And then it was all Western Michigan in the final 10 minutes, outscoring Bowling Green 28 to 8. And the Broncos held Bowling Green to one of 11 shooting from the field in that fourth quarter. Mobley led the way the last time out. 13 points and 13 rebounds. Seven of those 13 boards came on the offensive glass as we will have Angela Perry and Marley Hill to jump. And Bowling Green wins the tip. Falcons coming off a tough 66 to 62 loss to the Miami Redhawks. There's two big threes in the final three minutes of play from Leah Purvis that helped lead Miami to the win as Angela Perry building off that strong performance against Miami in which she had six points and tied her career high with six rebounds. And Gary, you know how important it is. You're the home team to get off to a strong start at the offensive end. Well, I think the biggest thing for the Falcons tonight is just playing against Western Michigan last time they held the lead for so long and lost it in the in the fourth. It's gonna be it's gonna be a I mean, put back there for Brianna Mobley. Brianna Mobley was a member of the 2016-2017 All Mac tournament team. And down to 10 seconds on the shot clock. Santoro finds Perry from the elbow. Jumper is good. And that's four points for Perry. That's more than she had all last game versus Western Michigan. That game against Western Michigan was actually the first game of the season for Angela Perry. She missed all of non-conference play due to injury. And off glass, Jordan Walker. Walker averages about six points a game. She's been in double figures five times this season. Still plenty of time on the shot clock as Lambert drives. One and done for Bowling Green on that possession. Marley Hill up top for three, it's good. Marley Hill coming off that career high 27 points against Akron. She also had 10 rebounds. And no turnovers, that was the biggest thing I took from her game last game. You knew someone would have to step up with Deja Wimby out for the game. One possession game, just over two minutes gone by here in the opening quarter. The Broncos six and five in Mid-American Conference play. Western Michigan, a team you're not gonna see shoot a ton of threes. They do have players that can knock it down from long range, but they are 11th in the MAC in three-point field goal percentage, just 29% on the season. Worked over to Katerion Thompson. Santoro able to maintain possession. Haley Puck to the basket and called for steps. There is Bowling Green head coach Jennifer Roos in her sixth season as the head coach of this program. And she also has the support of her parents in attendance tonight. On the drive, tough shot off glass and it goes. Jordan Walker continuing to attack the basket. Well, the freshman out of Muskegon, Michigan, she's having a solid season so far, six points per game and three rebounds. Five-point game. Here's Thompson on the turnaround. Would not drop. Mobley gets her own miss, puts it back up and in. And Jennifer Roos forced into a timeout. Western Michigan off to a strong start here on the road, leading Bowling Green by seven. 11 to four, your score.
Bowling Green with the basketball trailing by seven as we approach the six minute mark here in the first quarter. Brad Wozniki and Garrett McKinney here with you. Bowling Green so far two of five from the field. The Broncos five of eight. Now here's Santoro and knocked out of bounds. It will stay with Bowling Green. As you look at the point guard for the Falcons, here's more on Sidney Lambert, third member of our crew, Adam Gall. Sidney Lambert is coming off the big game versus Miami of Ohio. She passed 800 career points. Lambert also made her 46th three-pointer of the season and her 173rd three-pointer of her career. She's now tied for, with Sarah, Sarah Pudoff, excuse me, for the fifth most career three-pointers in BGSU history. Back to you, Brad. And thank you, Adam. Ball goes out of bounds. Bowling Green basketball. You have Lambert, Puck, Perry, Thompson, and Santoro out there. Nothing has come easy for Bowling Green at the offensive end so far as Puck drives and is denied by Mobley. Five twenty remaining in the first quarter. There is Western Michigan head coach Shane Klipfell, former assistant coach at Michigan State from 2008 to 2012. And over the last three seasons, he has coached this Broncos team to 17 or more wins. They finished last year 19 and 13. Three-pointer no good, and Santoro the rebound. Carly Santoro second in the MAC in rebounds at nine and a half a game. Now inside, Perry. And Angela Perry will head to the line. Garrett right now going inside is Bowling Green's only option with how well Western Michigan is defending the perimeter. Well, they simply can't get any open shots on the perimeter. The only thing working so far for Bowling Green is Angela Perry down low. Angela Perry, three of six at the charity stripe this season. And knocks down the first. Perry played a career-high 24 minutes against Miami. And in and out on the second. Two-possession ball game. Good look by Wimby. Baseline jumper good for Marley Hill. Hill, a former Cincinnati Bearcat. That's where she spent her first two years. She's been a great addition to this Broncos team since joining the program. Her first year with the team, she averaged better than 13 a game. Right now, she's averaging better than 10 a game. And Perry on the putback is fouled. She's going right back to the line. Now, Angela Perry working early. She has every single point for the Falcons so far. points in tonight's game. Angela Perry has scored in nine of her 11 games this season. Now two of three at the line and checking in for the Broncos will be number 22, Meredith Miller. Miller, an excellent three-point shooter. And Claire Gloniak going to check in for Perry after this free throw. Back to a six point game. You have to be excited if you're Jennifer Roos in this Bowling Green program with the production you're getting from Angela Perry. The freshman has been getting better and better. Well, in limited minutes, she's, she's improved tremendously from where she came in and she's been a huge factor for the Falcons in minimal time. Three pointer on the way, too strong. And Wimby with the offensive board. Put back no good. And going to the line will be Jordan Walker. Oh. 
Jordan Walker, former Michigan Miss Basketball as a senior. And she averaged 22 points a game, eight and a half rebounds, and five and a half assists. And Andrea Cecil will make her first appearance. A sophomore from Oak Harbor High School. No good on the second, but again, second chance points for the Broncos. That's seven so far. Boniak wants it in the post. Thompson drives off glass, but an offensive foul. Jennifer Roos can't believe it. See the frustration there from Coach Roos. If you're Kateri on Thompson, they'll continue to attack the basket. Thompson continued to get in the paint against Miami. She only took one shot from outside, a part of her game that she is known for, shooting the three ball. She was 7 for 11 from the field against Miami, finishing with a team-high 14 points. Corner three is good. Najee Smith. Najee Smith had a career-high four threes in last year's Mid-American Conference quarterfinals. Those four threes came against Central Michigan, including the game winner. And Mobley denied. And Brianna Mobley to the line. And the, and the Falcons can't let that happen. That's numerous offensive rebounds that just keep Western Michigan tallying their lead. As a team, Western Michigan, seventh in the MAC in free throw percentage just above 70%. Kennedy Williams in the ball game and Angela Perry returns. Kennedy Williams, the freshman out of Marshall, Illinois, 5'6 guard, averaging two and a half points a game, almost a rebound a game this season. And Andrea Cecil walked. Tonight's game so far has been a different story from the first meeting when Bowling Green in Kalamazoo came out, took the early advantage. It's been all Broncos so far in this first eight minutes. The Broncos shot 49% from the field in their last win against Akron, 76 to 60 was the final. Western Michigan shot 57% in the second half. And too much on that shot for Meredith Miller. Kennedy Williams baseline, trying to split the defense, draws Western Michigan's third team foul. Kennedy Williams, four of eight from the line this season. Another player like Perry that's working to gain experience. Very good ball handler, very quick with the basketball. And she can shoot it. She makes back-to-back -back threes in stints with the team. She comes in for a few minutes, provides that spark off the bench. 13-point game, less than two to play in the first quarter. Miller looking for Wimby. See if Bowling Green can take advantage. Andrea Cecil, offensive foul. And Jennifer Roos immediately to her bench to bring in Sierra Thompson, the freshman from Illinois. And Carly Santoro will return. And Nina Farkic will make her first appearance. Farkic started the last game. It was her second career start in place of Deja Wimby. And she gave Coach Klipfell some good minutes, finished with seven points in the ball game.
Less than 10 on the shot clock, poked away from Mobley. Shot clock winding down. And on the baseline drive, too much. Shot clock violation. Bowling Green's best defensive possession so far. Yeah, the Falcons have been giving up too many offensive rebounds. Being able to defend for entire shot clock, that's huge so far. To add to your point, six offensive rebounds given up by Bowling Green so far. Kennedy Williams, three. Got it. There's that spark off the bench you mentioned. Kennedy Williams had a career high 10 points in the last meeting against Kent State. That was her 13th three of the season. Good hands from Santoro. And Farkage. And that's, and that's back to back defensive possessions where Bowling Green has amped up its intensity. That's great defense. Doing a good job of getting hands in the passing lane. Trying to take away the Western Michigan drives that have led to a lot of high percentage looks. Falcons can hold for the final shot here in the first quarter. Down to 10 seconds. Kennedy Williams looking for space. Sierra Thompson gets the shot off and nearly banked it home. That's it for the first quarter here on ESPN. Western Michigan led by as many as 14. They will head to the second quarter leading by 10. Marley Hill knocking down the baseline jumper. And then the corner three got it to go. Western Michigan by 10. Western Michigan 21, Bowling Green 11 as we get ready to start the second quarter here on ESPN. Brad Wasnicki and Garrett McKinney here with you. Western Michigan, we knew one area where they could come in and try and dominate this game on the glass. And you look at the numbers for Brianna Mobley and Bowling Green's Carly Santoro, both excellent rebounders, both top five in the MAC. Well, one of the biggest keys for Bowling Green when we talked about it at the top was balance. And the Falcons had to have multiple players score. So far, they've only had two people score, Angela Perry and Kennedy Williams, seven and four respectively. Falcons shooting just 30% from the field. Compared to 50% for the Broncos as Perry able to get her own miss, kick it out. Haley Puck, three, no good. There's Sierra Thompson going for the board and this will be a Bowling Green foul. That was a late whistle. Jennifer Roos pleading her case. Western Michigan coming into this game trying to win what would be their eighth straight against Bowling Green. And now Deja Wimby going after that loose ball is called for a foul. Credit the defense there of freshman Kennedy Williams. And Williams able to force the turnover. Good defense off the bench. There's Carly Santoro over to Haley Puck. And shuffled her feet before putting it on the floor. For Bowling Green, that is their fifth turnover of the ball game. Minute gone by here in the second quarter. And inside, Mobley got great position. When she's that low, you're not gonna be able to stop her. Brianna Mobley set the Western Michigan single season record for rebounds last season with 307.
Kennedy Williams. Mobley got a hand on it. Williams able to win it back, and it drops. An incredible play by Williams, not giving up on the play, going back for the rebound, stealing it away from Western Michigan and getting it to fall. Still a double-digit lead for the Broncos as Wimby drives and knocked out of bounds by Santoro. Bowling Green will bring in Lambert, Cecil, Katerion Thompson, and Perry. And Marley Hill back on the floor for the Broncos. BG going big, two centers down low. Miller wants it in the post. It's thrown off the foot of Katerion Thompson. This Western Michigan team has been much better at home than they have been on the road this season. At home, a record of 8-2 and two on the road, 4-6. and six. You compare the offensive output from home and away, the Broncos average better than 77%, 77 points a game, excuse me, at home. They're only scoring 63 on the road. So we'll stay with the Broncos. Well, you wouldn't be able to tell it by today. Western doubling Bowling Green's score so far. Look at the numbers on Brianna Mobley. Ten points, four of six shooting, and seven rebounds. She's already on her way to a double-double. Wimby against Lambert. Tough shot off glass. Deja Wimby, a member of the 2016-2017 All-MAC defensive team. She led the MAC in steals last season with 86. And we know she can score the basketball. She averages better than 10 a game. Santoro, the spin, and it will be Bowling Green basketball out on the baseline. Great hands by Najee Smith, the senior from Naperville, Illinois. And we're going to have a Bowling Green offensive foul. Sierra Thompson will return. That was the third team foul for Bowling Green here in the second quarter. Inside Hill, the hook. Nothing but the bottom there for Marley Hill. The Cleveland, Ohio native, averaging 10 points a game, five rebounds. She scored 20 or more three times this season. And off the turnover, two on one. Good look to Wimby, but she can't hold on. And underneath, able to put it up and in. And those are points off turnovers that the Falcons just can't afford to give up in a game like this. Seventh turnover so far this game. He might have Brooks after that play talking to Wimby the next time out saying, where's my assist? That was a beautiful feed from Brooks on that last turnover. And off glass and good for Wimby. Western Michigan extending their lead to 21. 6.15 remaining in the second quarter. Broncos looking to continue their recent dominance against this Bowling Green program. Kennedy Williams playing hard off the bench. But too much Western Michigan and Deja Wimby. Tough shot off the window.
Freddie Falcon looking pretty comfortable in the stands here at the Stroh Center. But the Bowling Green women's basketball team anything but comfortable right now, trailing by 21 in this second quarter. And now off the steal, here's Brooks. Gives it up, and Wimby couldn't finish. A couple of missed opportunities there for the Broncos, but they're still in control of this ball game. And Garrett so far for Bowling Green offensively, continuing to see Bowling Green have Kennedy Williams and Angela Perry lead the way. As we get finally Bowling Green's third scorer, Sierra Thompson. But Bowling Green just has to be better on offense. Starting lineup other than Angela Perry, 0 for 9 from the field. That can't happen. Baseline jumper good for Marley Hill. Right back to a 21 point advantage. Thompson, no good. You have Sierra Thompson and Katerion Thompson both on the floor for Bowling Green right now. And baseline, the block for Perry. It will be a jump ball. Bowling Green basketball. Deja Wimby, she's been impressive offensively so far with six points. She also has four assists. And you see where she ranks in the MAC. Five and a half assists a game, tied with Presley Hudson and Carmen Grande. Well, she's been special for that Ball State team, one of the top scoring teams in the MAC. Very experienced guard. Bowling Green just saw Lauren Dickerson last time out, and Dickerson more of a scoring guard than Deja Wimby is. And Dickerson came out, had a strong first half against Bowling Green, 22 points. She finished with 24 in the ball game, knocking down two clutch free throws to make it a two possession ball game in the final seconds this past Saturday. Shot clock winding down. Sierra Thompson got it off in time. Bowling Green needed it. Western Michigan shooting better than 53% from the field, and Deja Wimby is headed to the line. Wimby a 63% free throw shooter this season. Sydney Lambert checks in for Kennedy Williams and Brianna Mobley returns for the Broncos. See Andrea Cecil on the bench right now with those three personal fouls. That's one player that when she's out there on the floor for Bowling Green, with her length and overall quickness, is great for Bowling Green defensively. And she's able to get to the basket at the offensive end. Really helps this Bowling Green team out. Offensive rebound for Sierra Thompson. She continues to make the hustle plays. And Sydney Lambert no good. Bowling Green now one of seven from deep. And it's Wimby with the steal. The spin. Pretty move from Deja Wimby. Broncos by 23. Now nine Bowling Green turnovers. See the Broncos also controlling the glass, 19 to 12 advantage. No good for Katerion Thompson. Off glass and good. That time it was Jordan Walker. And Sydney Lambert attacking, draws a Wimby foul. And Lambert's been aggressive ever since she got put into the game in the second quarter. She's been trying to stop Western Michigan's onslaught and taking it to the racks her best choice. 
Lambert has averaged better than 13 points a game over the last seven games. She's also hit 23s during that time. Haley Puck and Claire Gloniak return. And with that free throw make for Lambert, she's now 20 for her last 20 at the line. And the steal for Haley Puck. Can't finish, but more free throws for Bowling Green. Haley Puck, an excellent three-point shooter, better than 80% on the season. That's good enough for seventh in the MAC. Looking to cut the lead in half here. Two for two. We're inside of three minutes to play in the first half. Farkich able to find Miller. Numbers for the Broncos. And Mobley way too much on that one. But again, on the back side, there's Jordan Walker. Jordan Walker's father, Jarvis, a former professional basketball player in Germany. As Madison Parker checks in for the first time tonight. And two for two for Jordan Walker. Lambert up top for three, no good. Bowling Green now one of eight from beyond the arc. Now with that one make, Bowling Green does continue their impressive streak of 423 games with at least one made three-pointer. That's a streak that dates back to nearly 13 years. February of 2005. And inside, Mobley against Gloniak. And on the tie-up, this will be Western Michigan basketball. Jane Euchre into the ball game, the sophomore from Akron, Ohio. Mobley. And no good. Good look there, though, for Jordan Walker. Madison Parker looking for a driving lane off the window. Parker had a career-high seven points against Ball State back on January 24th. She's an excellent three-point shooter. Just over a minute to play in the first half. Here's Walker. Western Michigan just getting anything they want. And you can't trade buckets when you're down like Bowling Green is. But Sydney Lambert continuing to be aggressive, trying to find her shot. Step back for Lambert is good. Those are our first two points on the night. And able to save a good hustle there by Walker. 
And it will be Bowling Green basketball, 20 seconds remaining in this second quarter. And that's what you have to do if you're Bowling Green. Finish this half aggressive, cut the deficit to what you can, and make it as manageable as possible. Inside, great look. Jane Euchre puts it home. 19 point game. End of the second quarter. Western Michigan on the road and in control. Leading by 19 after 20 minutes of play. The underclassmen for Bowling Green fighting hard, but too much Deja Wimby and the Broncos. 46-27, your score. DiMaggio Wiggins, center for the Bowling Green men's basketball team in attendance tonight. Wiggins, one of the top rebounders in the MAC. The Bowling Green men's basketball team coming off a tough one on the road in Muncie last night, losing on a three-pointer in the final seconds. After Bowling Green had a chance to win that game on a Dylan Fry three-pointer, that was halfway down. Let's get to the first half highlights. Marley Hill up top for three. That was one of three three-pointers for the Broncos in that first half. Well, the Broncos are shooting 50% from three, while the Falcons are shooting just 12%. Big difference there. That, that's why the difference in the lead is so great. Looking at the balance that we've seen from the Broncos, something we knew Bowling Green would need. The Broncos already have three players in double figures, and they have six players that have scored tonight. And it's just the opposite for the Falcons. They don't have a score with more than seven points. No, star no starters. Kennedy Williams off the bench. He's played hard tonight. Not giving up on that basketball after being blocked on a three-point attempt. Here's Deja Wimby. She's been tough to stop. Able to get to the basket just about any time she wants. And then Marley Hill has shown you the versatility of her game. Sierra Thompson, freshman off the bench. Quality minutes so far, four points and four rebounds in this ball game. But again, getting in the paint, Deja Wimby. And then... Off the bench, that was the first basket of the game for Madison Parker. Finally, an easy basket there inside for Bowling Green with Jane Euchre underneath. Those are your first half highlights. Daniela Tomich, the head coach for Bowling Green Volleyball in attendance as the Broncos lead by 19. Back to halftime of this Mid-American Conference women's basketball matchup. Western Michigan 46, Bowling Green 27. We knew defensively Western Michigan was a strong team. So far holding Bowling Green to 33% from the field. But for the Broncos to be shooting nearly 53% from the field, that's great balance. Well, they have three scorers who are already in double digits. Jordan Walker leading the way, 11 points. Deja Wimby has 10. And Brianna Mobley almost has a double-double here at halftime, 10 points and nine rebounds. And points in the paint. The Broncos have doubled up the Falcons, 24 to 12. We pointed out in the open, points off turnovers. The Broncos had a 26 to nine advantage in that first meeting. So far, 13 to six in this one. They also, second chance points, have the advantage 15 to eight. When you have points in the paint, points off turnovers, and second chance points going against you, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah, it's gonna be a long night when you can't when you can't stop Western Michigan from grabbing those offensive boards and making so many of their threes. The Falcons are getting nothing easy on the offensive end either. It's it's gonna be a long night if the Falcons can't turn around in the second half. And you see that three point percentage as well for Bowling Green. The Falcons one of eight from beyond the arc so far in this ball game. Those are your first half numbers. Stay with us here on ESPN. Western Michigan looking for their 14th win of the season, trying to make it back-to-back -back wins. The Broncos 
in great position right now, leading the Bowling Green Falcons by 19. As we look at the Mid-American Conference standings right now, you have Buffalo leading the MAC East with a record of 8-2. Central Michigan still perfect in Mid-American Conference play at 10-0. But you look behind Central Michigan, Ball State 7-4. Then you have Toledo and Western Michigan and Eastern Michigan right there. Win tonight for Western Michigan, only going to help their cause as they're trying to move up in the conference, try and get a high seed for Mid-American Conference Tournament in Cleveland. Well, I think on that side of the conference, it's really anyone's game so far. Other than with Central Michigan leading between Ball State and all the other teams you just mentioned, it's a logjam right now in the MAC. And tonight, Eastern Michigan on the road taking on Ball State. You have Toledo down in Oxford to take on Miami. Northern Illinois visiting Akron. Central Michigan taking on Ohio down at the Convocation Center. And then Kent State just below 500 right now. They're on the road taking on Buffalo. You see Buffalo, an impressive season, 17-4 and for Felicia Leggett Jack's team. That's a look at your Mid-American Conference standings. We've got more to come, including the third quarter here on ESPN. Both teams back out on the floor and getting ready for the start of the third quarter here on ESPN. Western Michigan looking for back-to-back -back wins coming off a 16-point win over the Akron Zips. Look ahead for the Broncos. Next up, the Broncos will return home to take on Ball State. That's the first of two meetings between those two teams in the month of February. Then it's on the road at Toledo on February 17th. The Rockets defeat the Broncos 78-73 to in the first meeting. Then Central Michigan and Eastern Michigan right at the end of February. Central Michigan, we pointed out, 10-0 in Mid-American Conference play coming into tonight. The Chippewas fell 74-70 in the first meeting against the Broncos. And Eastern Michigan... Fell in a tough matchup the first time around against the Broncos, 69-67. That's an Eastern Michigan team that has been impressive with the young talent that they have and their defensive ability. They've, they've surprised a lot of people in Mid-American Conference play so far. Bowling Green will come out with their starting lineup. Sydney Lambert, Carly Santoro, Haley Puck, Angela Perry, and Katerion Thompson. And for the Broncos, their starters out there as well. Deja Wimby, Jordan Walker, Najee Smith, Brianna Mobley, and Marley Hill. See how long these starters remain out there for Western Michigan as this game goes on with the Broncos in control. Western Michigan led by 10 after the first quarter. Here's Katerion Thompson for three. She's now one of two from long range tonight. One of the top three point shooters in the MAC, better than 43% on the season. He's their 26th three pointer of the year. And blocked by Perry. And it will be Bowling Green basketball. The lead at one point was 25. That was back at the 3.02 mark of the second quarter. As Bowling Green makes it a 14 point game. On the drive by Carly Santoro. And you've got to be happy if you're Coach Roos seeing this production right out of the second half from the backcourt. They were held not scoreless, but it was a tough time to get any shots on the perimeter last half. Santoro, that was her first points of the game. 
And the shot off glass is good for Deja Wimby. Wimby had a season high 24 points against Northern Illinois. Her career high was 25 against Toledo last season. Here's a Haley Puck three off the iron. And Wimby in the open floor attacks. No good, but able to track down the loose ball. Hill, offensive rebound, and Lambert can't save it. More second chances for the Broncos. That was their 14th offensive rebound compared to Bowling Green's seven. We mentioned that last three for Katerion Thompson. She comes in number three in the MAC in three-point field goal percentage. You saw there on the bench Meredith Miller, the leader in three-point field goal percentage. Western Michigan 48, Bowling Green 32. And before we go any further, let's send it over to the third member of our crew, Adam Gaughan, for some second half adjustments. Well, for Western Michigan, they have to keep spreading the ball around and control the boards. And I also got a talk, chance to talk with the head coach of Bowling Green, Jennifer Roos, and she stated that the Falcons have to take care of the ball. They have to be able to score, make layups, and get open shots. Back to you, Brad. And underneath, Mobley comes away with it. Inside Hill against the freshman. And no good, too much on that hook. Chance for Bowling Green to get it back to a 14 point game. Santoro finds Puck in transition. Three pointer good for Haley Puck. And a timeout has been called. Bowling Green making a run here to start the third quarter. It's down to a 13 point game. Big shot from Haley Puck. Western Michigan basketball out of the timeout. Broncos in front by 13. Bowling Green now shooting 36% from the field. Western Michigan better than 46%. They're just one of seven from the field so far here in the third quarter. Good hands from Puck. Leads to a Broncos turnover. And Katerion Thompson, yes! 11 point game. Katerion Thompson has been in double figures five times this season. It was just her second field goal tonight. The jumper no good, but the offensive rebound. Walker just went right around Santoro. Perry. Haley Puck gets it to go. Looked like it was going to be one of those possessions for Bowling Green where it was going to result in a bad shot as the Broncos get an easy two at the other end. Little shot clock winding down. Haley Puck making something out of nothing, but the Falcons give up two immediately. You can't let that happen. See more points in the paint. 30 to 18, Western Michigan advantage. And Katerion Thompson lost the basketball. Jane Euchre and Madison Parker will check in. Euchre played three minutes in that first half. Parker played two. They each had a field goal. We approach the halfway point here in the third quarter. 
Najee Smith, three-pointer, got it. Najee Smith, a 35% three-point shooter. You can't leave her open. She's hit 21 threes on the season after that one. Lambert trying to create a shot. Now inside Euchre. Blocked by Hill. Inside Euchre open. Denied, but a foul. Brianna Mobley with a big smile after that one. She thought she got all ball. Maybe a little bump. Sixteen point ball game, 438 remaining in the third quarter. Less than five minutes to play in the third quarter. And the Falcon marching band having a good time tonight. Entertaining the crowd during the break. And Jane Euchre will step to the line. She was fouled by Brianna Mobley just before the timeout. Jane Euchre 11 of 15 at the charity stripe this season. Fifteen point ball game with one more to come. Euchre had ten points against Toledo. Then has been scoreless the last two games. Now four points on the night. Inside. And Mobley had it stripped, but there will be a Bowling Green foul. Falcons first foul of the quarter. Brianna Mobley now three of three at the line. Back to a 16 point game. Euchre posting up. Here's Katerion Thompson for three. Able to create her own shot there. And Thompson leading the Falcons in three-point percentage. 44% nearly. Create her own shot, made a nice three. Number three in the MAC in three-point field goal percentage. Hill. Bowling Green defense again. That was the 10th turnover of the ball game for Western Michigan, their third here in the quarter. Each team now with 10 turnovers. Thompson again, not this time. Gets her own miss, trying to keep it in bounds and just unfortunate there for Bowling Green because the hustle was there. Right. Meredith Miller back on the floor. Marley Hill will get a well-deserved rest. Hill with 11 points on the night. One of four Broncos in double figures. No good for Wimby. Offensive rebound and Katerion Thompson takes it away. And Kennedy Williams will set up the offense. Haley Puck ready to return. They missed Euchre underneath. Now Kennedy Williams, a contested three, is blocked. There's Sierra Thompson. 
Just couldn't put it up and in. Had a chance to make it an 11 point game. Meredith Miller three. Yes, sir. Just like that, it's back to a 16 point game. Less than two to play in the third. Euchre, the layup. Nice execution there by Bowling Green. Wimby. Deja Wimby, two for two at the line tonight. Look to add to her 12 points in this ball game. Just look at the all-around performance that Wimby is putting together. 12 points, five rebounds, seven assists, and one steal. Deja Wimby is excellent on the defensive end, part of last year's All-Mac defensive team. And she's, shutting, she's shutting down Sydney Lambert so far, and she did in their last matchup. Sydney Lambert just two for 12 from the field. Last time these two teams played, just one of seven tonight. Deja Wimby, great all-around player. And that's why we point out Bowling Green needing balance night in and night out. Western Michigan 62, Bowling Green 46. And Miller gets the steal. And running the floor. Nearly an and one for Mobley. That's not the first time tonight we've seen Western Michigan beat Bowling Green down the floor. And BG's going to have a tough time coming back from this deficit with they keep surrendering fast break chances. One more to come for Brianna Mobley. Just adding to her double-double performance. For Brianna Mobley with the 13 points and 10 rebounds tonight. She now has 29 career double-doubles. Alexis Parks has just checked in for the first time tonight. The senior from Columbus, Ohio. Santoro in the paint. Carly Santoro to the line for the first time. She's shooting 66% at the free throw line this season. One for two, and the rebound for Walker. Jordan Walker also with a double-double tonight. 13 and 10 in this one. And Miller walked. Down to 30 seconds. Haley Puck from the elbow. Loose basketball, and Smith has it. Lambert, good defense on Parks. Loose basketball picked up. And Lambert with the rebound. Unable to get a shot off. 
After three, it's the Broncos by 16. Katerion Thompson starting to find the range. Meredith Miller with the answer right there. Sixteen point ball game as we prepare to start the fourth quarter here on ESPN. Mid-American Conference Women's Basketball, the Mac West versus the Mac East tonight. Brad Wesnicki and Garrett McKinney here with you. And Western Michigan so far in this game being led by Deja Wimby. Brianna Mobley and Jordan Walker each with 13. Mobley and Walker each with a double-double. And more on Deja Wimby. Wimby was named to the Nancy Lieberman watch list that recognizes the top 20 female collegiate point guards in NCAA Division I. A well-deserved honor. She's shown why. She's one of the top point guards in the MAC. As Mobley, good on the second. Two for two at the line. Perry in the post. Able to establish position there on Mobley. We saw great production from Angela Perry to start the game, but she's been a little bit quiet since. Well, at the beginning of the game, she was all the offense that the Falcons can muster, and even now she's still the leading scorer for the Falcons. Nine points, three rebounds for Angela Perry tonight. No good for Santoro. Apparently Santoro has really struggled from long range this season as she drives. And will go to the line to shoot two. Mid-American Conference play, Carly Santoro shooting just 20% from beyond the arc. One for two at the line on her first trip. Sierra Thompson checks in for Jane Euchre. Katerion Thompson ready to check in for Santoro. See the numbers on Santoro. 13 points on the season. Now five points tonight. Smith gives it up to Miller. Meredith Miller posting up. Broncos go the other way. Three-pointer for Walker, well off the mark. Sierra Thompson puts it on the floor. Her first free throws of the night coming up. And good on the first. Sierra Thompson after that make, now shooting 75% from the line. Six points, six boards for the freshman. Wimby, nowhere to go, brings it back out. And knocks down the jumper. Good patience there from Deja Wimby. Did not try to force anything and got a quality shot. A 
Lambert traveled. Still a lot of time left in this ball game and Bowling Green with the effort they put in in the third quarter has given themselves a chance here in the fourth. The fourth quarter that was dominated by Western Michigan in the first meeting, a 28 to eight advantage. Bowling Green, their second team foul. Another Bowling Green foul against Sierra Thompson. Wimby finds Mobley. Strong move, but too hard off the glass. Haley Puck, little hesitation, no good. Less than seven minutes to play. Wimby goes to work. And Haley Puck with the steal. And Bowling Green calls a timeout. Excellent hands by Haley Puck. Third on the team in steals, making her presence known right there. 6.34 remaining at the Broncos in front by 14. And Deja Wimby. 16 points on the night, continuing to lead the way. Hey. 14 point ball game with the Western Michigan Broncos leading the Bowling Green Falcons. And for more on tonight's game, here's Adam Gaw. Bowling Green assistant coach J.C. Brooks has been with the Falcons program since 2013. She spent three years as an assistant at her alma mater, Kinesis College, before coming to Bowling Green. And in her first season with Bowling Green, she helped lead the Falcons to a 30-win season, the second highest win total in a season in BGSU history. And in 2015, Brooks was one of just 50 coaches across the country to have been selected to the WBCA Center for Coaches Coaching Excellence inaugural season for assistant coaches. Back to you, Brad. Just over six minutes remaining. Broncos with the basketball and in control. Both teams struggling shooting the basketball so far here in the fourth. The Broncos one of five, Bowling Green one of four. Here's Wimby, the pump fake. Foul will go against Katerion Thompson. That will be her fourth. Deja Wimby, 4 of 4 at the line tonight. Make that 5 of 5. Game high 18 points for Deja Wimby. Haley Puck will check in for Sierra Thompson. you got to think BG's making that move for more offense as these last six minutes wind down. It's back to the starting lineup for Bowling Green. Haley Puck, a deep three. Thirteen-point game. This Bowling Green team has continued to fight. 
the 19 point deficit has just been too much for Bowling Green to come back from. That's a credit to Western Michigan coming out, taking control of this ball game early. Deja Wimby underneath no good, now Marley Hill. 21 to 12 advantage in second chance points tonight for Western Michigan. and good on the first. Marley Hill, last year's team leader in blocks with 34. Knocks down both. Santoro drives, and a hard foul. shooting 83% from the line tonight. 15 of 18. <laughs> 13 point ball game. Another note on Carly Santoro. With the free throws that she has made here tonight, she now has 97 free throws made this season. That's the most by a Bowling Green player since Alexis Rogers and Jillian Halfill back in the 2013-2014 season. Rogers made 124 that year. Halfill made 121. Step back jumper for Santoro is good. And that's just their second made shot from the field. The Falcon offense starting to heat up here at the end of the fourth quarter. And nine points on the night for Santoro. She was scoreless in the first half. Wimby inside, great look to Mobley. And a timeout, Western Michigan. And the Falcons just can't slow down Brianna Mobley. 15 points, 12 rebounds. She's having her way on the boards. 4-14 remaining. Bowling Green, Bowling Green right now in danger of dropping their sixth straight game and falling to 2-10 and ten in Mid-American Conference play. You look at what's ahead for the Falcons. Two road games at Northern Illinois and then at Ohio. Then home against Buffalo, the top team in the MAC East on February 21st. On the road at Miami on February 24th. That's a game in which Bowling Green is going to be looking for redemption after the way things played out this past Saturday. Bowling Green needed a stop. Instead, it was a Leah Purvis three that put the Red Hawks in front for good. Then Lauren Dickerson sealed it with a couple of free throws. And Akron's going to come here looking for redemption as well. After a Haley Puck three-pointer gave Bowling Green the win against the Zips in the first meeting. Only six games remaining in MAC play after tonight. Hard to believe. And Carly Santoro into double figures. Seven of eight from the line. Santoro, one of two Bowling Green players in double figures. And Wimby finding Hill. Back to a 13-point game. Here's Lambert on the pull-up. Rimmed out. A foul against Haley Puck. Just her first personal. This 
this Western Michigan team is going to be a scary team come tournament time. They've got the leadership out there on the floor from players like Mobley and, Wim and Wimby, as well as Marley Hill. And then their freshmen really starting to come along nicely. We mentioned that Nina Farkic made her second career start last game against Akron. Finished with seven points in that ball game. And you can't say enough about Jordan Walker and the job she's done, not only here tonight with 13 points, but she's averaging six points a game, shooting it well from long range. And she's been in double figures now six times on the season. Well, in her last game, she had 11 points, four rebounds, three assists, and three steals to go along with that stat line. So she's definitely been heating up as of late. Less than four to play, Haley Puck. The up and under leaves it short. Loose basketball. And it will be Bowling Green ball out on the baseline. Perry. Turn around, no good. And there's Santoro tied up by three Western Michigan players. Possession arrow pointing to Bowling Green. Santoro three, knocks it down. One of two from long range tonight for Carly Santoro. Tripped up. Bowling Green's fifth team foul. And no good on the first for Brooks, the senior from Oak Lawn, Illinois. Point game, 3.03 remaining. Lambert open three and air ball. Tough night for Sidney Lambert, Bowling Green's point guard. 0 of 3 from long range, excuse me, 0 of 4 after that last one. Now 1 of 9 from the field. And Lambert's production was one of the biggest questions coming into the night. How would Deja Wimby defend her? How would Sydney do going up against her again? And I think it's safe to say so far Wimby's won the battle. Mobley now at 19 points and 12 rebounds. She's shooting better than 50% from the field. Mobley looking for help. And Wimby wisely pulls it out. Now drives. Drew a little contact, no whistle. We're inside of two minutes. Walker. And Jordan Walker will head to the line. Three of four at the free throw line tonight. 126 remaining. Not much time left, but Deja Wimby actually has a chance at a triple-double. She's two rebounds shy and one assist shy. And the 
Night is done for Katerion Thompson. And she fouls out. Katerion Thompson will finish with eight points, two assists, and four rebounds. She was two of four from beyond the arc. Perry for three. Long rebound and loose basketball. Western Michigan ball. Bowling Green right back into their full court press. Last second substitution as Nina Farkic will check in. And Kennedy Williams into the ball game. Kennedy Williams, six points in 11 minutes tonight. And Wimby had it poked away from behind, but right to Mobley. Mobley against Perry. Tipped around and into the hands of Santoro. Santoro, two more. And last touched by Bowling Green. And now the officials going to head to the scores table to look at this one. Bowling Green faithful trying to let them know the officials that they got it wrong. No matter what happens here, it's still the Broncos in front by 14 with 35 seconds remaining. Defensively, again, the Broncos getting it done. Coming in, number one in the MAC allowing just 64 points a game. They gave up 58 to Bowling Green in the first meeting, but you just look through the numbers. The Falcons, 38% from the field. That's an improvement from the first half. Six of 20 from long range. Bowling Green has done a nice job of getting to the free throw line, but so has Western Michigan. And I think it was just the deficit in the first half that proved to be too much. The Falcons were shooting just 12% in the first half. They bumped that up to 30 here now, but the deficit is just too much. The Falcons couldn't overcome it, and they're playing the foul game. Western Michigan going to tighten up the all-time series. Bowling Green coming in with a 35-30 to 30 advantage. But now this will be the eighth straight win for Western Michigan over Bowling Green. Looking at the individual numbers tonight for Western Michigan. Mobley with 19, Wimby with 18. The starting five tonight for Western Michigan with 74 of the 81 points. Bowling Green, all but two players that have played tonight have scored. Western Michigan going to improve to 14 and 10 overall, seven and five in the MAC. As the officials continue to look and see who, who had the last touch on this basketball. There's the numbers on Deja Wimby tonight. We said she's probably just going to miss a triple double.
Inbounded to Mobley. Down to 30 seconds. About an eight second difference between the shot clock and game clock. And Wimby lost it. Bowling Green ball with 12 seconds remaining. Inside Perry. No good. And time expires. Western Michigan too much for Bowling Green tonight. The Broncos have now won back-to-back -back games. Rihanna Mobley, strong performance in this one. Her 29th career double-double. Broncos win it by 14. We'll be back in a moment here on ESPN. Welcome back to Bowling Green, where Western Michigan comes away with the 81 to 67 win tonight. And I am joined now by the point guard of the Broncos, Deja Wimby. And Deja, talk to me about the game plan coming into this one in this tough road matchup. Um, I think this game we just wanted to uh, we wanted to have the upper hand on them. Uh, we focused a lot on their uh, on their ball handling skills and their uh, shots. They're a really good. Uh, three-point shooting team I think right now they're shooting around like the 40 percent mark so we wanted to guard them on the arc um, and I think we want to play a really aggressive defense because they're a really really great team inside and out so yeah and you got great production from your starting five tonight mm -hmm. the majority of points coming from that starting five how important is it for this team to continue to have balance going forward it's definitely really important um, our next six games are not going to be easy at all so uh, I think this game helped us to show that we can do both and we're good inside and out. So I think we so I think we need to keep that going to stay strong in these next six games. And as a team, you're getting great production from your underclassmen, seeing more and more of that a player like Jordan Walker in the starting lineup. Mm -hmm. She's been big, finishing with a double-double tonight. Mm -hmm. She's definitely aggressive. Um, she's one of our better guards for us, and I think she's confident, and she knows that we believe in her as well. So she knows that she can go and take those shots, or she can go and jump up against a 6'2 girl and go and – to go and grab that rebound. So I think she's just very confident and that's just really good for us right now. So. And next up, it's not going to get any easier. You're going to see nope. Ball State, high scoring basketball team. What do you look forward to about that matchup? Everything. Um, I'm a I'm an Indiana girl, um, so that's definitely a big, a, a, a definitely big thing for me. Um, I'm just ready to go out, show them what we can do and get this win. That's one team that I haven't beaten yet mm -hmm. since I've been here, so I definitely want to go in and get that win. So. Well, Deja, appreciate your time. Good luck going forward. Thank you. Deja Wimby of the Western Michigan Broncos, and we'll be back to wrap it up in a moment here on ESPN. Rise. Head and shoulders above the rest. Stand out. Never lost in the crowd. Your unique story. The one and only you. Fully supported, fully believed in. Together we will learn to lead arm in arm. So much in common, so much to share. We will be challenged, but we will overcome. Because it is our turn to shine. Belong, stand out, go far. At Bowling Green State University. From the moment you set foot on campus at BGSU, you'll know this is a place where you can belong. In fact, BGSU is recognized for our strong commitment to engaging students in their education. And Bowling Green is one of the best college towns in America. This is a place where you can stand out. Come to one of the nation's top public universities and choose a program that fits you. Take advantage of the Falcon Internship Guarantee, the first of its kind in Ohio. With a BGSU degree, you can go far, further than you ever thought possible. Confident in your qualifications and ready like never before to fly. Belong, stand out, go far at Bowling Green State University.
Welcome back one final time as the Western Michigan Broncos defeat the Bowling Green Falcons 81-67. This will be the sixth straight loss for this Falcons team and go through the final numbers and Western Michigan had the advantage in just about every area tonight. You look at the advantage on the glass, they got to the free throw line more often, three-point shooting, able to knock down a few more points in the paint, the advantage. And what you don't see there, points off turnovers and second chance points, two areas where the Broncos had the advantage as well. Well, I think Western Michigan really demoralized the Falcons with all those offensive rebounds. Anytime BG had a chance to cut into the deficit, Western Michigan got the offensive rebound, put it back up, and was going to the free throw line. I think that was the difference tonight. And you can't say enough about this starting five for this Broncos team. They finished with four players in double figures tonight. Yeah, Brianna Mobley had 19 points, Deja Wimby had 18, and Marley Hill also had 16. A lot of scoring for the Broncos. And for Bowling Green? And for Bowling Green, Haley Puck had 10 points, and Carly Santaro had 16 leading the Falcons. And those 16 points for Carly Santoro all coming in the second half as it's now back-to-back -back wins for this Western Michigan team. And they continue to dominate this matchup in recent years. Now eight straight wins against Bowling Green. Right. All right, well, for the Western Michigan Broncos, they will improve to 14-10 overall, 7-5 in MAC play. Bowling Green now 2-10 in the Mid-American Conference. And that's going to do it. For my partner Garrett McKinney and our sideline reporter Adam Gaw, I'm Brad Wozniki saying so long from the Stroh Center where the final score is Western Michigan 81, Bowling Green 67. To watch this entire game on replay as well as other games on our family of ESPN networks, log on to watchespn.com or download the Watch ESPN app. This has been a presentation of ESPN.